As the world marks the 2024 World Youth Skills Day, the Michael Imodu National Institute for Labor Studies, MINILS, says it is crucial to equip the youths with necessary skills to foster a culture of peace, nurturing responsible global citizens to build a more just and inclusive, sustainable future for all. The head of the Entrepreneurship Development Unit of the Institute, Ajayi Adeyemi Razak, disclosed this during a press conference to commemorate the day noting that there's need to unite and recognizing the potential of young people as agents of peace. That it is a crucial to equip the youth with the necessary skills for fostering a culture of peace, nurturing responsible global citizens, and promoting sustainable development to build a more just, inclusive, and sustainable future for all. Secondly, on World Youth Skill Day, let us all unite in recognizing the potential of young people as agents of, of peace and commit to providing them with the skills and opportunity to address the challenges and contribute to a peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable future. Razak also maintained that the Labor Institute, through its Entrepreneurship Development Department, in collaboration with other relevant agencies, had trained about 2,000 youths on various skills acquisition in line with the eight point agenda of President Bola Tinubu's administration. Program. In, the li in line with other member nations to celebrate the remarkable day through sensitizing stakeholders on the need to skill up. The World Youth Skills Day event was declared by the United Nations General Assembly in 2014 to provide a unique opportunity for dialogue among young people and also technical and vocational education and training institutions. The Norsemen International Club, a non-governmental organization in Nigeria, has promised to assist residents of Mpape, a suburb in the federal capital territory, to ensure improvement in their standard of living. This pledge was made by the newly elected executive who are charged to run the affairs of the organization at the Meitama district of the FCT. Earlier, the members of the group in the FCT before the emergence of the newly elected executive were assured that the organization will continue to impact positively on the lives of Nigerians irrespective of their status in the society. The group during the last Children's Day celebration donated books and writing materials to indigent students to schools in Suleja, Niger State and also donated blood to the Garaki Hospital, Meitama, and the Federal Medical Center in FCT as part of its corporate social responsibility to Nigerians. Please stay with us as we now take a commercial break. We'll be back for the rest of the news. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.